Hey guys, welcome to another quick little review. Today we'll be testing the security of uh, Google Chrome, which is a pretty popular browser nowadays. So, I had done a test like this on Internet Explorer 9 and it caught 8 out of 10 threats. So we'll see how many Chrome gets. I'm back here at Cleanamax. Of course, uh, these are different links, but it, they should give us a fair idea on how it compares to Internet Explorer. Now, if we go in settings, there isn't really much to mess around with. You've got your appearance, startup, nothing about security from what I can see. If you hit show advanced settings, it does show you some more things. But still, I mean, it's uh, not a lot about security that you can mess about. So, we'll just test it the way it comes. So, let's try out. I won't be trying this because it's got too low a detection rate to call, you know, malware. Most probably it's false positive. So, we'll try out the next one. That's this one. Okay, this one loaded without any problems. Let's try the next one. This is probably some Java frame. Okay, this was blocked by my DNS. So it's not Google Chrome, so we won't count that. Okay, this is too low detection rate to really call malware. Okay, this one's an adware. Should be cut. It's got pretty high detection rate. In fact, it's okay. This one was cut. So, so far, we've tried, I think one two so we tried two and it's caught one so far let's try this one as well so yeah it's th one out of three so so far it's only caught 33 percent Let's try this out. This got a pretty high detection rate. But it was not blocked. Um, just to let you guys know, Chrome does come with a web blocker, so it does block pages. But so far, I haven't seen even one being blocked. Let's try this Trojan dropper. Okay, this one was also blocked. So that makes it two out of four. And then let's try out the spyware. Okay, this type of file can harm your computer, but I get this alert in a lot of executable files, so and save that and that one got through as well. Okay, this is some infected JavaScript and that went through this is a piece of adware went through this is some js redirector okay this one was blocked so we've tried three more and we've it's only blocked one out of the three so that makes it 3 out of 7. And now let's uh, try out some of these adware. Okay, that one got through. So from Cleanamax, it only caught 4 out of 8. So it's uh, just a 50%. Remember, Internet Explorer got a lot more of the threats. So now we'll just head over to Malware Blacklist and try two of their links. Yeah, 
and we'll see how many blocks from here. So just as we did in IE9, tried 8 from Cleanamax, and we'll try a couple more from here. All of these are zero day malware as you must have noticed. So first one's a Java file. We'll be trying to get as many executables as we can. But it's tough to know which one of these are exactly executables. Anyway, we'll just try out the first one here. Okay, this one, some kind of, uh, you know, back door maybe. Nothing happened. This one's not working anymore. Okay, this one's another kind of backdoor probably. Let's look if we can find any executables in here. I'm not gonna try zip files. Okay, again, probably some kind of backdoor. Again, we've got a lot of these scripts and text malware here and there. Now that's annoying. Okay, let's try this executable here. So this one was blocked. And this one was blocked as well. I'll just try one more because I think I tried two of the same type. Okay, this one was blocked as well. So, final scores. It caught the two from Malware Blacklist to make it 6 out of 10. Not that bad. But I think uh, i9 is better. As you saw, it got 8 out of 10 which is just uh, two links ahead of Google Chrome. I mean, from the horrible start, I, I was thinking it might get a lot worse, but six out of 10 is not that bad, for just for a browser. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. I'll do one more on Firefox or something so that you can get an idea of what kind of security browsers have nowadays. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a good day.